Hey everybody, how is it going? It's Crystal Flaffy, and today we are going to be discussing another Astromon. As you can see from the title, we are going to be talking about, about Wild Fang today. Uh, reason for it, she is the most recent super evolution to be put into the game. Uh, I know Seastar was announced, but she's still not here yet, so... Yeah, and I will not be speaking of her until the Super Evolution comes up, because I really feel like there'll be some sort of balance patch, at least for the red, blue, green, for her, because they are all very bad. So, I feel like there'll be changes there, and I don't want to talk about it just for everything I say to be to become irrelevant within, like, a month. So, so yeah. But anyway, speaking of future videos, a clan member of mine, uh, I believe it was Casual Chaos, yeah, it was Casual Chaos, brought up the contract mons for Light, Dark, all the, and the, uh, Odin, Valkyrie, Arthur, there, there, there we go. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be starting on those next. Well, I, I am going to be starting on those next for sure. I just don't know which order I'm going to go in yet. So I don't know what's going to be the next video, but expect those three to be coming up soon. Uh, anyway, let's get into Wild Fang now that we're here. I have built... Uh, I have all of them, but I've only built so far uh, Fire and Wood. I'm working on getting Evo 3 for Dark, and then I'm going to Evo 3 Water and then Light. And build those as well. So they'll come eventually, but for now, it's just fire and wood, which I will of course show late when we get to that point. Now let's just find where she is. There we go. Now, fire wild fang. Before I even like look at or speak about her stats and abilities, I just want to let you guys know she is an amazing mon. She is so helpful for you, especially early game, and we'll get into why just now. Uh, you can see she's an attacker. She has pretty good HP for an attacker as well, for a nat 4 attacker, I mean. And her attack is alright, just over 3k. And she has HP Siphon on both 3-star and 5-star, though her 5-star is greatly restores own HP rather than just restores. Her leader skill is uh, lowers the enemy's crit rate. But it wasn't always that. It used to, I think it used to be Blue Soul Recovery. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was before they uh, gave her a bit of a rework. But yeah, now her leader skill is so much more useful, especially for PvP. But anyway, the reason why uh, Fire Wild Fang is so good and so useful for early game is because she's... She can solo GB9 Golems, or Golems Floor 9. Uh, she can solo it by herself if you build her good. Which is very important for early players, as you really need good mons for getting through those dungeons so you can start hoarding and amassing like a stockpile of good gems up until you can comfortably take on GB10, which is a further milestone. But she's an amazing for... GB9 to help you get those triangle gems. I still use her for that sometimes when I'm like low, excuse me, on triangle gems. I will still use her. Uh, we'll look at the variant as well. Mine is a variant, and I really like have grown to love the variant colors, so I'm sticking with that. I'll say that that's the one I like more. And we will go over here to look at the base stat changes for her. And uh, here we go. There's the cute little chibi one, and the waifu one. Uh, this one was the first time I there was a chibi super that I was so tempted to get, but I still decided to go with the waifu one. Uh, as you can see, her attack gets much better. Her HP is almost 3k, and her defense is really good too. And I will go over to mine real quick. Uh, here she is. Mine is super evo variant. I have her on Ruin Attack, Attack Crit Rate, which I do need to upgrade a little bit because her 
her rate is a little bit lower than I would like, but... And then she also gets books as well, which her book increases are really good. It's 35 damage for both. So there is also that. Where else you can use her besides GB10? You can use her in... I mean, sorry, GB9. You can use her in DB8. I used her there. It was really good. Here, let me just... There you... So you can see her better. Uh, you can use her in Titans for damage. Uh, if you don't have good CS mons yet for your Fire Titan teams... I don't think I use, I don't remember. It's been a while since I attacked a uh, Fire Titan. So I don't think I use her anymore, but I have used her recently. And she's she can end up doing like a mill or so. Because she'll live long because she'll like be healing herself and stuff. The only thing that I would wish that they did for her is like for her five star if it greatly restores team HP rather than just her own. That would be amazing, but she's still good as is. Uh, you can also use her for farming any content that has, like, wood mons or whatever. And also for wood colossus if you need a damage dealer there. But anyway, that's it for the fire wild thing. And we can go on to water. Now, for a long time, I did seriously downplay water in my head. But looking at her, she's pretty good, especially with books. Uh, uh, she's a, well, before skills, she's a tank type. She has pretty good HP, just under 40k. And her defense is a bit lower than I would like, but oh well, she gets super, so it'll go a little bit higher as well. Uh, as for her colors, I like the variant more, I like the darker one, yeah. But yeah, she has 80% one turn stun and 80% petrification on her 5 star. Uh, with books, it goes up to a 90% two-turn stun on 3-star, and 80% uh, two-turn petrification, which are both really good. Uh, so she's really good for PvP defense because of that. Uh, even for offense, she could be very useful against like low-resist defense teams. And also for PV, uh, sorry, TOC as well. Uh, she'd be really good for floor 80, and, well, pretty much it's 80 that people have trouble with, and then 100. I don't know if people have trouble with, uh, 90 or 95. Like, I don't know if having trouble with them is common or not. But I know a lot of people post on Reddit and stuff, like, I'm at floor 80, so, need help here, and then also for floor 100. Which, she will be pretty good there at being able to CC the bosses. Very useful. Very, very useful. And we'll go look at her super evolution just to see her stats. Real quick, see what kind of boost she gets. So her HP does go very high, 43k. And her defense does get over a little, too, a little over 2k. So there is that. I have not built mine yet, but I am leveling her up. I mean, not leveling her up. I'm evolving her. I think she's already 60. Yeah, I just need four more. These gems are placeholders. Uh, I think it's HP attack defense. Which, that has really good crit rate. Yeah, so defense. And attack. Yeah, I would definitely swap this attack one. Maybe for another defense gem. But I don't know yet. I don't know. I like having the like sneaky offensive thing going and I do need to put trinkets on her as well uh, I did realize that I forgot to like show the gems for fire so we'll look at those real quick as well before we hop over to wood so you can just see those one of them is a five star so that definitely needs to be improved but anyway let's go on to wood now oh uh, I should note as well that like she is uh, for water. She is very good. She's very good for uh, PvP. Uh, that crit rate down lead and her CCs are amazing. So that's... She's a lot, she's very common now in PvP. So, yeah. I definitely recommend her. But anyway, here is Wood. Now, Wood is an interesting one because she got a pretty big change when they did the balance patch for Wild Fang. 
So at first, she was a crit reliant mon with 100% chances for her skills to proc. Now they took away that crit requirement and lowered the rates, like the proc chance for other skills. But anyways, we will get into that in a moment. Uh, first off, she's a defender. Her stats are all right. They get with Super Evo, then we won't have to worry about the stats anymore as they're really good, but they could be better. Uh, there's the variant. I like the orange hair for the non-variant. Yeah, I kind of like the non-variant more. Mine's a variant, but like, I do kind of like the non-variant more. But anyway, looking at her skills, she has 80% one-turn petrification on her 3-star and 70% uh, two-turn sleep on her 5-star. So it used to be 100% one-turn petrification on 3-star with crit and 100% two-turn sleep on 5-star with crit. They did change it, which is kind of shitty because it lowered her chances by a lot to activate her skills, but like, she is easier to gem now. I'm just salty about it because I had mine gemmed for crit rate and resist, so yeah, I'm still kind of bummed out about it. But anyway, with books now, her petrification on 3-star does get to 100%, which is good. It just sucks that like it used to be 100% without books before. And her sleep on her 5-star goes up to 90%. So, not quite 100, but still really good. Anyway, let's go over to here so you can see the, the base stats for her. And she gets really good. Her HP is really good. Defense is good as well. And her attack is actually pretty decent, too, for a defender. So, she'll still be doing some some good shit. Now, here's mine. So, I did have her on crit rate attack. No, sorry, crit rate HP defense before. But now, I believe she's HP defense defense. And she has really good resist. Three shy of max. But, you see the gems there. And she also has, oh, that has a good good attack, so. So there is my wood wild fang that I am working on her books right now so that I can get that petrification up to 100% and the sleep to 90. Uh, where you would use her, same places you would use water. Uh, PvP defense, or you can also do offense for her, probably. Uh, I'm more like, more into like, heavy hitters for offense rather than the slow teams, which I know there are people that prefer the slow teams, so they would probably use water or wood wild thing for that. But yeah, I just use it for defense and also for, you can also use it for TOC on the same floors that I mentioned for uh, water wild thing. Which one's better between the two? Eh, I don't know, they're both really good. Probably water, just because fire drop is a thing. So there's that. And then also her stun. Both her skills are two turns. Whereas woods, three stars, only one turn. So, yeah. There is that. Anyway, here is Light Wild Fang. Uh, she's a balanced type. Her HP is really good. And her attack and defense... Well, her, mostly her defense leave a little bit to be desired, but Super Evo should rem remedy that. Uh, as and oh wait, for before that variant, I like the variant. I do. The variant is nice and cool. Uh, so looking at her skills, she is one hundred percent two turn defense down on three star. Books do bring it up to three turns, and then she is a seventy percent one turn shock on five star. Books bring it up to. 80%, and she gets a 20% damage increase on both. Now, Light Wild Thing is a weird one for me, because her skills are both good, it's just they don't they don't mesh too well together, you know? Like, Defense Down is great for Titans, it's, it could be used for Colossus as well, for the Dark Colossus. And... Maybe some TOC floors, like maybe she would be good for uh, TOC 100 for the Hades. 
I haven't tried defense down there, so I don't know how helpful it is. But you can try that. Uh, but then also she has shock on her 5-star, which is really good for PvP. Especially for PvP defense, because it's AoE. But defense down isn't super great there, unless it's AoE. So, I don't know. Like, it, she's weird for me. Uh, very weird. Uh, let's go look at her Super Evo stats before we continue. So her HP, really good, and her defense and attack as well, also really good. And she looks cool. She kind of looks like the wood one. I think she looks a bit too much like the wood one. Like the color scheme. Yeah, like they look so similar. It's like they just brighten the colors a little bit, but kept everything the same. Oh, except the horns. The horns... The color of the horns for the wood go to the claws on light. Yeah. And I haven't built mine yet, but there she is. And you can look at the books there. I know I already mentioned them, but there's that. Uh, where I would use her, I'd use her for like I guess you can use her for PvP. That's probably where I'm going to use mine. I don't know yet. I don't know. But anyway, let's go look at Dark. Oh, before you can see, I evo would my Dark Hades. So yeah, there's that. I realized I had three Holy Gleams in my storage, so I just went and evo him right away. And let's see. There we go. Dark Wild Fang. Now, this mom, I've been coveting for so long. I finally got her, but only because uh, I got those starter packs, or whatever they're called, that gave the Light Dark selection tickets. That's how I got both my Light Dark Wild Fang. Uh, so, yeah. I finally got her, at least, so whatever. I'm happy. Uh, she's an attacker. Her HP is good. Her attack is a little low, but it's alright. And variant. There isn't really much change. Just the purple becomes a bit more reddish. Honestly, I prefer the non-variant. But they're both good. They're both good. Uh, looking at her skills, she's Stalker, 30% on both 3 and 5 star. Books help this so much because it bumps each of them up to 50%. So, she has a base, uh, what is it, a base 60% crit rate without including gems when, once you have her fully booked, which is amazing for an attacker, especially a dark attacker, blah, attacker, because you want to build her, like, fully offensive, you want to build her full glass, uh, seeing as, as seeing her skills as super, 3,300 attack. Gets pretty good. And her HP is pretty good as well. Uh, we can go look at mine real quick. I think I have a gem or two on her. I don't think she's fully gemmed. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I have just one gem on her right now. It's just crit damage gem. I don't have the attack gems to put on her there, but I will be putting her attack, attack, crit damage on Ruin. And then trinkets will deal with survivability. So there's that. Uh, and I do have her fully booked. Uh, she was the first wild thing that I prioritized for books. Uh, where you would use her? PvP offense. Definitely super helpful there. And super easy to gem. Especially because she's super easy to gem. Uh, you can use her for Light Titan as a damage dealer if you don't have one. Uh, oh, sorry, if you don't have good CS for that. I did see someone post on Reddit a little while ago a screenshot of them using her against the Light Titan, and she did, like, 6 mil damage. I don't know how, to, like, I, I would need to see the guy's team comp to, like, understand how they did it, but I assume defense down, expose weakness, uh, weaken, attack up, and, yeah, that's what I, I, I assume that they went with, but I don't remember off the top of my head if they showed it or not. Uh, she can also be used for Light Colossus, because you want to just nuke it, and she'll be really good for that. You can use her for farming stages. Uh, you can even just put her on a siphon set, attack, 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 and watch her just run house on things. And also for DB10 as well. You can also use her there. 
So she's pretty, pretty good in a lot of content. Uh, the only place you wouldn't really want to use her is uh, PvP defense, just because she'll like probably die. Except maybe during special season, so like she could be useful there during special season. But yeah, that is going to be it for the Wild Fangs, uh, uh, as for a priority order. If you're early game and you don't have a good team for GB9, uh, I would say prioritize Fire above everything, just because she will help you be able to beat it, and that'll snowball your progression a bit. So, very helpful there. But if you already have a team for that, or you already have like a, a succu Fire Succubus would be a good substitute, or something like that, then I would put Fire a little lower. Uh, not including fire, next I would put like water or dirt, depending on your priorities. Sorry if you hear the music in the background, somebody is playing music, I don't know why the hell they're doing that, but anyway, one second. Sorry about that, I had to pause for like a good 10 minutes because they were being an asshole, but anyway. so. As I was saying, I'd prioritize fire first if you do not have a GB9 team, but if you do, I'd prioritize, depending on where you want to go, if you want to build up your defense team for uh, PvP, go f with uh, water. If you want to focus on offense and you somehow happened on a dark wild thing, go with that. That would be my number one. But of course, very rare, so, like, you can't really, unless you buy the starter kit uh, packages or whatever it's called, what is it, yeah, starter pack, unless you buy those and get the light dark selection tickets, you can't really control when you'll get it, so, and then, I guess it's hard to, like, prioritize them, because they're all, like, similar, but for different things, for Wild Fang. Like, water and wood are both great for one place, but water is better. Okay, for PvP defense, I'd go like water, wood, light. Uh, for offense, I'd go dark, fire. There, that's that's what I'm... I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> leave it at that. Uh, going to end the video here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video where I will probably be going over... Well, I will be going over either... Odin, Valkyrie, or Arthur. I'll probably go with Odin first. I don't know. You guys will find out soon. Anyways, bye-bye.